Possible illegal dumping is cluttering the Razorback Greenway, and new at 10, we've learned a Fayetteville City Council member is aware of this problem and working to put an end to it. Five News reporter Michael Wilson joins us now, and Micah, the council member says in order to address the problem, the city must fix another issue first. Yeah, Erica, City Council Member Sarah Moore says the council needs to address the issue of the high volume of people experiencing homelessness. Now, it's believed that they are causing this mess right here. You can see that plastic cup right there. There's so much mess just littering the Greenway, including clothes and plastic bags and so much more. But that's only a portion of this issue. It is kind of a complex issue though, right? An issue that essentially comes down to two factors, property and the impact of those experiencing homelessness. We don't want to displace people that don't have anywhere to go. We don't want to punish people for their circumstances. Circumstances that might be contributing to this mess. This? bad. I mean, yeah. is there not anyone that's constantly monitoring it? It is monitored, but in a lot of areas like that, it's actually not on publicly owned property. So there's not much they can do, but Tristan Hill with the Greenway says it's working with Fayetteville and the U of A to address the problem. Part of it is trying to first identify what are all the locations where we've got you know, uh, illegal dumping or remnants from uh, illegal camping. Once that happens, then they'll have to contact and identify the property owners. But it brings up another problem. Deeds have been transferred, it's been bought and sold, and so we nobody's actually honestly super sure who owns it right now. <laughs> After jumping that hurdle, Peter Neeregarden with the city of Fayetteville says it will work with the owner to remove the trash. And, um, that's why we're actively trying to get it addressed and cleaned up as quickly as we can. What are any future plans to get this problem under control? And, um, there's no single solution, I think, to the problem, but um, it takes a, a you know a, a collective community effort. City Council member Sarah Moore says the city must go to the root of the problem. The lack of affordable housing, the lack of um, entry level attainable uh, rental housing for some of our more vulnerable. Tuesday, she's introducing a resolution to give more than one million bucks in ARPA funds to allow a nonprofit to create affordable housing. It's kind of a win win. And not only is this trash an eyesore, I mean, just look at all of that. But it's also creating some environmental concerns with the trash draining into White River and Beaver Lake, which is a drinking water supply for Northwest Arkansas. Now, we will continue to follow this story as it develops more next week. Micah Wilson, 5 News. All right, Micah, thanks. The city and the Greenway are both thankful for volunteers that help clean up and say there is a program paying those experiencing homelessness to help clean the Greenway.